the game. It's a red skin. Hello everyone, I am Kushal Jain. This is Savage Programmer. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So today we are going to see how we can use Python to create a screen recorder. It's an amazing tutorial, and I hope you'll guys you guys will enjoy it. So let's jump right into our laptop screen and start writing the amazing code. Let's open our Python editor. So we need three libraries for it. We'll install it first of all. I've already installed them, so it might take some time for you to install them. So the libraries are first library is numpy pip install numpy you need to do it like this second library is open cv python so open cv is a python library which is used to deal with computer vision problems and it is also used to build applications uh, related to you know video capture or image processing or video analysis right the third library is uh, pi auto gui which is used to take uh, the screenshots of the screen because you know a video is basically uh, a reel of pictures uh, which are played pretty fast. So you need to install these libraries. PyAutoGui may take some time because it has to install some dependencies as well. First of all, let's import our numpy library. numpy as np. Second library is cv2. It is open cv python is imported as cv2. Third library is PyAutoGui. So now what we are going to do is we need to define screen size for which we are going to record the screen. So that is screen size and we are selecting, we will be defining that into a tuple and that is uh, 1080 pixels. So 1080 pixels. Then we need to define the frames uh, per second. Frames per second basically defines how many frames will be displayed in your video each second. So we will keep it like 60. Then we'll define the codec of our video, basically how, so I don't know much about video codecs and uh, everything, but you might have came across this word when you, uh, when you will be not able to play any kind of video in your PC or something like that. So video codec is kind of, you know, utility or a codec necessary to run a video in your video players and everything. So let's define a video codec. So cv2 dot video writer. 4cc means 4 byte code to represent the the codec basically so the most commonly used video codec is xvid and there are many others like mjpg or x264 and many other you can check it over the internet so we have designed, defined our video codec as well now let's define our output so output needs to be like cv2 dot video writer video writer now it takes four arguments and those are first of all the name of the file uh, into which we need to write the video that is let's keep it like an auto out dot avi avi is the extension of a video then it takes in the codec that we have designed defined earlier so video codec then it takes in the frames per second so frames per second then it takes the screen size so let's define the screen size so we have everything done now we need to Take the screenshot of the of the you know of a, of a screen to generate the video and then write it to our output file. So we'll run a loop while true. Then we'll take the images, basically an image using our pi or sorry, using our pi or togui library, and it has a function called screenshot. So we'll take screenshots of our screen, and then we what we'll do is we'll convert it into a frame, and frame would be a np array np array of that image so we'll convert that image into an np array first of all now using cv2 using cv2's method we'll convert this image from one color space to another let me show you how so frame equals to cv2 dot it has a function dot cvt color which takes in the frame and the color code cv2 dot c o l o r b g r 2 r sorry r B RGB. Now it has converted. Now what we are going to do? We are going to add it to our video. That is output dot write frame. Yep. So we have written it to our frame now. Now we have written a frame to our output file. Now we just have to release this and close. Destroy all the windows using the CV2 library. Uh, destroy all windows. Got it. So this is it. Actually, we have written a script. Let's try to run it. If it's working fine or not. Let's run the screen recorder. 
and uh, it is running now let's go to the desktop and do some activity i'm doing some activity let's go back and uh, now in order to stop it just turn uh, you know stop this program basically and then just go to the folder where you have saved this in the you know root folder only so this is the file that is created let's try to run it and you see this is what we have done so this the the frames uh, the video was very fast actually let me small it down let me reduce the size of this basically so that you can see yeah so the video was very fast 60 frames per second and we can control this thing you, you see it is very fast so you can control this by changing the frames per second and let's do that right away let's uh, do it like 20 frames per second and restart our program again screen recorder and let's do some other activity now let's do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. let's select something like so we have a few things we have done now let's stop it and check the video again i hope this time the video will be pretty slow let's check it so this time it is at least visible to let me swallow down the window so this time it is at least visible because the frames has reduced so i hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something from this video do share this video with your friends and i and since if you are a beginner in python or started working with python so you can use this as a project and do make this project so that it because and then upload it to your github as well if you haven't checked out the github and git uh, playlist yet do check it out because git and github are really necessary so and it will add to your contributions on github as well so do make that make this uh, script in python and then upload it to your github so let's meet in some other video with uh, some amazing content and uh, Till then, bye-bye, take care.